God has great destiny for you for sure whether you received the prophecy or didn't the most true prophecy is the word of God whether somebody spoke over you that you have a great destiny or not you have a great destiny God has great things in store for you but you have to work it out you know some of you maybe kind of feel the same way you know you're sitting here in this place and sometimes you know you hear this ama amazing and awesome stories you know the people that receive word of prophecies the people that receive great things you know what the life was spoken sometimes you might you might be like I was sitting back there and saying wondering God I mean do you have anything for me you know I am I supposed to be somebody am I supposed to achieve anything you know I realized through this example even though it's a terrible example a terrible experience I've lived through but I realized one thing God speaks over your life. God always speaks. He always has good thoughts towards you. He always speaks great things over you. Work it out. Work it out. Act upon it. If you received God's word that God's going to bless you financially, that you're going to have a great business, you're going to have a great career, work it out. Start a business. Well, what if I fail? Start another one. On average, I read it, I don't know how true the stat is, but on average they say, you know, a millionaire in their lifetime goes bankrupt five times. But they don't give up. They work it out. They work it out. They work at it. They work out what God put in. The destiny, the gift, the talent that God gave them. I want to ask you this morning, what are you working on today? Why are you working out? Maybe you're sick in your body, but God says you are healed. Work it out. Maybe you are in poverty, laying from paycheck to paycheck. You have this great dream to be, you know, independent financially. What are you doing to work it out? What are you feeding yourself with and how are you acting on it? Maybe God put a dream in your life to be in a ministry or doing great things, to be, to, to be a great man and women of, uh, a woman of God. What are you doing? Are you spending time in prayer with God? Are you digging in His Word? Are you feeding with your past, uh, yourself with podcasts? What are you doing to work, uh, to work it out what God has worked inside of you, what God has put in and inside of you? I want us to, to, to get this sense of urgency to to understand that we don't have all the time in the world our time is limited our time is the valid most valuable resources begin to work out today today what God has put in on the side of you and I tell you one thing be, the moment you're gonna begin to work out even the smallest thing that you got maybe you want to have big things but right now you have small things the moment you're gonna begin to work out small things God's gonna give you bigger ones the talents that people were faithful with three five and then two talents when they were faithful with those small talents God gave then then the master put them over the cities rulers over the cities you work out small what you have in you maybe you were entrusted with the home group and you only have one or two people work it out work it out be faithful in it work it out let God use you to impact those uh, small people that uh, not small people but those small group that you're influencing God will God will give you more maybe you are working a minimum wage a job right now work it out come back to work on time come to work on time leave on time put your 100 percent in it be an asset to your work be a, ben a, be a benefit to your work god will give you promotion you're not working for man you're working for god work out what god has put in you